Hello, welcome, Kevin here. So we have the uh, Sword Art Online collaboration going on with Monster Strike. Um, so I thought I would pull a 10 shot, uh, try to get those uh, four star monsters, and then uh, maybe do a quick review of all of the monsters available uh, for the collaboration. So we'll go here to the gotcha first. Um, as usual, three five stars. Uh, one of them has a uh, ascension and evolution form. Uh, the other two five stars have just the evolution and then the two four star monsters. So let's go ahead and do a 10 shot here. Uh, hopefully I get the, both of the four star monsters and then I'll stop pulling for now, but I may end up pulling more later uh, because the hatcher monsters, they look really good actually. So anyway, let's go ahead with this. Okay, looks like a standard shot. Come on, come on. Okay, fine, that's one of the four stars. Uh, they could have made this character into two different characters, but I'm glad to see them both in here, so. <laughs> Alright, stop, 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 stop. Okay, good, there's the other four star. Um, so, if it stops any more, then it might be a 5-star uh, from this collab. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we'll lock that one and that one. Alright, and then let's head over to the Monsterpedia and then look at everybody. Okay, so first, uh, this is one of the 4-star uh, monsters, uh, Shirika and uh, Elizabeth. And uh, they are fire, uh, they are bounce with no damage wall and no block and weak point slayer. Um, attack is low, even for a uh, four star monster. Uh, but with the super no damage wall, they'll get a boost from hitting that. And then a weak point slayer will also help with that. And a nice double null ability, especially the, uh, the block. Um, I think actually maybe the weak point slayer might be the best thing about them. Um, because more and more recently we've seen with the uh, four or five star and under quests, uh, that there aren't really too many gimmicks, um, so it's more important to have slayers uh, rather than null gimmicks. Uh, they have the uh, tribe pulse uh, bump combo, which is pretty darn strong. And then the uh, strike shot is the uh, speed and power up, and then they summon, I guess, a dragon or something? I forget. <laughs> um, and then to be clear, I haven't watched any of the videos of these characters in action, um, so I don't know how strong these strike shots are. And that can often be the uh, kind of the deciding factor uh, for determining how strong these characters are. Um, maybe I'll put some links in the notes and then you can watch those and then see how strong those track shots are. Uh, next up is uh, Asuna. Uh, this is the fairy version from uh, season two. Uh, a lot of people, they prefer the season one version, the one with the uh, brown hair, uh, but we'll come back to her in a, a little bit. Uh, but this one looks pretty strong. A uh, water pierce, and then she has minesweeper and no warp. Um, so that's the same as like uh, Lorelei, uh, but this character has better stats, of course, overall. And then also null uh, magic circle, so that's a triple null, um, so she's pretty darn good. And then uh, she has a new ability called uh, Yui's uh, Cheer, and then Yui is that uh, little girl that Asuna and Kirito find, uh, I think it's the second season or maybe the middle of the first? I don't know, whatever. You can watch it, I won't uh, spoil anything. Uh, but it works just the same like uh, Leela's, uh, Kiss Kill Leela's ability where sometime during a boss sequence um, it will randomly appear like a cutscene and then you'll get full life from that, so that's nice to have. Uh, bump combo is the uh, green peas, uh, but it's the four bound version, which is like what Jekyll and Hyde have, uh, which is pretty powerful. And then um, Strike Shot, let's see, heals your party uh, if you hit them. And then also uh, she swings a sword around. Um, again, I don't know how powerful this is, um, but any of those Strike Shots where you can heal and attack at the same time has been pretty powerful so far. And then 18 turns is uh, pretty short too, um, so that could be useful. She would be really good to have. Uh, next up, another 4-star Hatcher monster. This is uh, Rifa. Uh, spoiler alert, this is the sister of Kirito, uh, but it's in the online world, so you can make your avatar. Um, this is revealed very early in the series, so I feel okay spoiling that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, she is a wood with a bounce, minesweeper, and null block. Another nice uh, double null ability. Uh, she also has laser stop, which I'm a fan of. And then uh, recovery M, which is pretty good. Uh, she's got the speed up bump combo, nice uh, support ability. And then a 12 turn null everything strike shot, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, it's not as good for a bounce character, I would say, as it is for a pierce character, uh, but still pretty welcome. Um, I would say of the two characters, uh, the first one here, this is going to be the better uh, base 4-star monster, um, especially because they are a blast type with that uh, tribal pulse. Okay, and then we'll look at the other uh, hatcher monster, the 5-star. Uh, this is uh, Shinon, and then she's from... Uh, the other online uh, game, uh, which focuses around guns. Uh, Asuna and Kirito, they originally play the one with uh, swords. And then if I were to pull any of the five-star hatcher monsters, I'd probably want this one. Um, she is a light uh, bounce with no damage wall, no block. Again, a kind of a rare double null ability. Uh, dark resistance, which is always nice for a light character. And then a strike shot reducer. Uh, her bump combo is the uh, Ricochet, uh, which is the same as um, Takasugi, and then that other red 4-star monster. Uh, but yeah, bounces around, hits everybody, does way more damage than it should. <laughs> and that's the reason why I want her, is for that bump combo. Um, yeah, pretty darn good. And then the Strike Shot, Speed and Power Up, and then let's see, maybe where she stops and then she fires a shot. Um, again, we'll have to watch the, uh, the video to see how strong that is. Uh, but yeah, she is the one that I want the most. And then next up is the Hatcher version of uh, Kirito. Uh, this is the Evolution version. Uh, he's also got the uh, Yui's uh, Cheer, uh, same as that Kiss Kill Lila effect. And then a Dark Bounce with no damage while no warp, uh, which is still kind of a rare double null ability. Uh, don't see that too often. And then Strike Shot Reducer. Uh, he's got the uh, super dimensional blades, um, so that will lock on to the uh, weakest or lowest HP enemy and then do that good damage there. And then the strike shot is a uh, speed and power up. And then again, the uh, character, um, I guess that he ends up near, will get an extra attack. Uh, again, please refer to the video. Uh, this guy looks pretty versatile as far as uh, what quests he could go to. And then the Ascension, which is maybe the one that people are kind of uh, focusing on. Uh, he is a Pierce with just super no gravity barrier. Uh, so that gives him speed up when he hits a gravity barrier. Uh, he also has the uh, Yui's Cheer and then the Counter Slayer uh, passive in him. So when you pull back on him, you know, you'll see that uh, Slayer ability on whomever, or that Slayer target on whomever you have the Slayer for. And then he's also got the super no gravity barrier. Uh, which means, uh, you know, you get extra speed, you'll get extra hits. And then attack is pretty good too, at 24,000, and then with a gauge on top. Uh, he also has critical, and he also has really good speed. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the reason why people are focusing on him, because his potential for damage is very high. And then the uh, bump combo, he also has the super... Um, no, he doesn't have the super dimensional blades. He has the regular super slice and dice. Um, so that means more hits, uh, more damage overall, maybe. <laughs> and then the sub-bump combo is the, uh, the fireball, just that single shot. Uh, the counter slayer will go into both of these bump combos, though, because it is passive. And then uh, strike shot is... Um, every time he hits an enemy, he will swing his two swords. Um, again, we'll have to refer to the video to see how strong that is. Okay, and then we're looking at the uh, drop monsters. Uh, first up is uh, Eugene. Uh, he is a fire bounce with flight and null damage wall. And then um, there are not a lot of fire characters with this uh, kind of um, sling style null ability combo. Uh, but there's like Gargoyle, and then there was uh, Shana from a previous uh, collaboration, the Dengeki. Um, and then there's also um, Ochise. And then I would say Ochise is better of the two. Uh, but if uh, Eugene is really easy to make, um, I might just make him anyway. Um, you know, for medals and then also to raise my uh, max luck count. Um, he is a power type, so his attack is a little bit higher. Um, speed is lower, 
Uh, but actually his speed is okay at 300. That's pretty decent for a uh, bounce character. And then the bump combo is also the fireball. Um, he is a power type, so it's a little bit less powerful, but it starts out powerful to begin with, so still pretty good damage. And then, uh, let's see, it looks like maybe a tackle plus mm, wave strike shot. Again, we'll have to try it out to see how good it is. Um, I would say this guy is low uh, priority to make a max luck of. Um, but if his quest is easy, then it would be worth to play, to farm. Uh, next up is a 4-star, uh, Kuradiru. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, what was his story? I think he was aiming for a certain job, but then uh, Asuna took it from him, so he wanted to get revenge, but anyway. <laughs> uh, he's Water Bounce with uh, No Wind, No Block, and then uh, Paladin Slayer M. Um, so yeah, he could be... Um, like I said before, for a 5 star and under quests, you want Slayers, um, so the Paladin Slayer could be good for that. Uh, he's got the uh, Lock On uh, Poison uh, Shock Wave. This is not a Pierce Wave, just a Shock Wave. Um, so it won't hit as many guys, but it can do the Poison. And then looks like a Point and Shoot uh, Strike Shot. And then the other 5 star is uh, Oberon, and everybody pretty much hates this guy. <laughs> He locked up uh, Asuna in the uh, second season, and he's pretty gross. Um, but he is a Pierce with a Flight and Null Damage Wall, and a Homing Bump Combo. And that's pretty funny, because he has the same element, uh, Bump Combo, and then a Double Null ability as um, um, Gimlet, uh, who's also a fairy type of a character. So this is kind of like the, uh, the gross version of Gimlet. <laughs> and then uh, Strike Shot, Speed and Power Up. And then, let's see, I guess where he stops, he does an extra attack um, to enemies around him. Alrighty, and then also those two guys, depending on how easy their quests are, they could be good for farming uh, metals as well. And then finally is uh, Heathcliff, and uh, he's pretty darn good. Uh, if we look at his uh, HP, that is insane. That's probably the highest for any extreme monster outside of uh, Behemoth. Uh, he is light uh, bounce with no damage wall, no block. Um, again, a rare double null ability, but we're getting a bunch of them for this uh, collaboration. Uh, he has full resistance, um, so that's a cut of like, what, 25% damage from all elements? And then on top of that super high uh, HP that he's got, he's pretty good, he's pretty tanky. Uh, that's definitely one of the things that you want from a max luck, is um, high HP. And then uh, he's got dash. Um, again, 300, that's decent for a uh, bounce monster, but dash will definitely help with that. Uh, he's got the uh, flare bump combo, uh, which I like, and this is at full power too, because he's not a uh, power type. And uh, yeah, kind of a low, or a small uh, circle of effect. Uh, but pretty good damage, that's a, a one-way laser. And then it has a chance to stun, so it can be good uh, support uh, as well. And then the strike shot, um, let's see, he uses it, and then it looks like he gets an increase to his uh, attack and defense. Uh, it might be for like uh, five turns, like a Nightingale or somebody. Um, so yeah, it'll prevent damage to him, and it'll also power up his uh, Flare Bump combo uh, when it's not his turn. And then maybe his next turn he'll also get extra attack there. So this guy looks pretty darn good for a Max Luck. Um, I don't think we can get him an Ableberry but it might be worth putting a hero scroll on him if you had nobody else. <laughs> Definitely going to make the max luck of him. I don't care how difficult his mission is. And then finally, uh, Alice. I don't remember this character. She might be from the third season, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, but she looks like just a uh, base 5 star which does not evolve. Uh, bounce with uh, Dark Slayer and then Null Warp on the gauge. A becomes a pure strike shot, and then the cross laser, which the Dark Slayer goes into. Um, I don't think you could expect too much from this character to use, uh, but should probably be a reward for something, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, in short, I think uh, you could do well with any of the Hatcher monsters, um, so you definitely want to maybe pull for those if you can. Uh, at least get the, uh, the four star monsters. And then of the drop monsters, I would say Heathcliff is definitely the one to go after here. 
Okay, so I may or may not pull more on the Hatcher, uh, just because the Hatcher monsters do look like they're worth uh, pulling for. Uh, but for now, we'll call it quits here, and uh, we'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Take care.